Okay? Right. So my only promise is, uh, if you ever read this book, you, unless I, of course, perhaps I'll put my name on the title, right. and I think I will, but uh, you might never know that uh, I wrote this unless you read the uh, look at the cover page. So right. it, it's a different kind of thing, but it's the same goal through different means. Right. So I'm heading to the same destination, but taking a completely divergent road. Okay. Yeah. So all right. So we're gonna hold on, uh, hold off on, on the title because we're gonna hold it. We're gonna go to a quick commercial break. Um, make sure if you want to get more information about the, the author, you can uh, email us on mtvsports at maharaja dot okay. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Good morning, Sri Lanka. In case you just tuned in, you missed out on a lot. We were just speaking to the author, uh, Marshala Vijay Surya, about his book, Colombo, A Critical Introspection. Great book. I was reading it while we were in commercial break. I love it. All right. <laughs> and now, we're, uh, every man, there's, how would I put this? There's a great saying, behind every man is a great woman. Yeah. <laughs> Your wife. Rosh Roshini Kumar Singha. Hi, Jason. Hi. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> How's the morning been for you? Great. I've been sitting in the <laughs> sidelines I'm and watching. watching. Us. <laughs> I'm watching us talk. Yeah. All right. Before we get into your personal lives, the name of the book, that the novel that you're writing, yeah. what is the name? Okay, wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> drum roll. I, I need a drum roll. What, we don't have a drum? <laughs> so let's, let's give him a drum MTV. roll. Yeah. No drum? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to, okay. The name of the book, go. Post Politica. <laughs> Post Politica. <laughs> that makes sense because uh, previously uh, in the little trailer thing that yeah. you, we played, um, that was yeah. a, I was curious on what that was. Yeah. That's the name of the book. Yeah. Post Politica. Cool. All right. So when, when do we see this book being released? Beginning. Uh, it's done nearly. Okay. Ninety-five percent, but uh, you know the process of editing and stuff right. like that. So I have this sentimental date. Which I like to publish books on. Right. <laughs> I mean, like release really? books on. Okay. Uh, it's January eighth, okay. which is a very, very important. I'm not superstitious by any manner of okay. means, but it just means a lot to me, sentimentally. Okay. Uh, so my goal always is to get the book out on January the eighth, right. and I published this on January the eighth, two thousand and twelve. Right. So January the eighth, two thousand and fourteen. Okay. Here I come, I suppose, so with post politica. Something, that's something you have to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And now your beautiful wife is here in the <laughs> studio. Now tell us how you two met. <laughs> tell me, tell uh, us. Go on, Roger. Sure, okay, go so on. I'm starting, right. Um, so it's actually, people find it like a really interesting story. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, I was in college, I was like majoring in management and marketing and okay. doing my own thing. Okay. When he was my lecturer. <laughs> Ah, ah, another I drum see. roll. I <laughs> think sounds for that. No, we have to, we need a close-up <laughs> shot yeah. and like a shock face. Like, 
<laughs> da, da. <laughs> All right. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, so okay. yeah, so <laughs> I was his student and I was actually in his law class and okay. that's how we met. Right. Um we've yeah, so <laughs> So wait, okay, what about his personality really, you know, appealed to you? You were like uh, Wow. Hello, teacher. <laughs> That's, yeah, I think that was one of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, the fact that, I don't know, he was, he was this well-established and like, I think what really like got me mm -hmm. was seriously the way he speaks. Ah. Uh, that was it. It wasn't like, I'm not saying like other things weren't appealing to me, but yeah. like. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, <laughs> it was just the fact that you know when he got up there and he was lecturing and stuff yeah. like that and he had like this personality which just came out and right. he was so confident when he talks it's it's the way he talked i right. always even like my mom and all that used to ask me what what was it okay. <laughs> you know right and that's i think what got me hooked on right <laughs> um all right uh, no you're right uh when he started speaking i was like whoa dude really i wish i could be more like you like the way he's like Woo. <laughs> it is the way he speaks <laughs> right. all right uh, tell us about your interests um, <coughs> I actually um, happen to be his publicist as well. Ah. So yeah. Oh, I see. Now so I see. The I take care of all of his like promotions and okay. this kind of thing, uh, because I have a company of my own right. that does uh, public relations. Uh -huh. uh, aside from that, um, what can I say? It's like a full time job for me to care about dogs <laughs> oh wow. it's uh, one of my biggest interests okay. I think a lot of people who know me know that okay. uh, because um, I'm a sort of an activist okay. for road dogs okay. for street dogs who uh, don't have homes and stuff like that uh, I'm very big on like people adopting right. street dogs because like everyone has like a good dog who which you pay for which is sometimes unnecessary because right. we have such cute road dogs on the road <laughs> yeah. who don't have homes they uh, like sure. die of diseases and like all these other you know mm -hmm. they get run over it's so sad so i actually have like three dogs at home oh, that's all adopted um so that's something like i try and get in uh, as much as i can yeah. i don't do that much <laughs> i mean there are organizations that do way yeah. more it's it's great to see them but i try and help out whenever i can okay. like for example in sort of finding uh, puppies for <laughs> these organizations right. and things like that. Yeah. Uh, that's something I try and do uh, as a passion. It kind of takes me mm -hmm. away from sort of the stress of any other work. Yeah. Uh, so I really like... You know, we yeah. actually had a couple of uh, uh, puppies and kittens just a few days ago. Oh, is that right? All, like, and just <laughs> for the record, we have three such stray dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Roshan is always yeah. clamoring for more, <laughs> but uh, space is limited. No. <laughs> they they no, stopped me. Not. They stopped me. I've got a new one who's actually only been with us for two weeks now. Oh, really? And that is a... I'm, I wasn't, like, allowed to, but ah. I still do. It wasn't me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah so All right, uh, so let's get into... Now, you, you're saying that you uh, helped publish the book. I mean, you were the publisher. Um, yeah. When you read the book for the first time, this book, Colombo, A Critical Introspection, yes. What did you think? Um, a lot of the concepts in it, mm -hmm. uh, unlike his new book, yeah. because his new book, I, I actually only know the title and I right. know like the basic idea of... You haven't read the book? The new one? Yeah. No. No, I never read it before it's published. <laughs> really? Uh, un un until like the final thing is done, okay. I never read Midway because right. he doesn't allow me to. <laughs> for example, this that's one... That's my artistic process. Right. You asked for my book. <laughs> uh, that's one of them. She's probably like trying to hack into your computer like, <laughs> yeah. oh, he's got a password in there. Yeah, Darn it. but like, <laughs> I feel so guilty. Sometimes I see like updates on like the new book as well. So right. I can't read it because I know I'll have to tell him in the evening when I see him again. <laughs> so I don't do that. Uh, but, uh, but in this book, uh, see now it goes from essays to essays, mm -hmm. right? So let's say six was done I, I never read it at that time right. but I read it at the end um, but unlike the new book the new book uh, I only know like the concept of it uh, the totality of it but right. I don't know like really what's going on in the story because right. it's a story like right. it's a fiction right yeah what is this a lot of the ideas in the book I really recognized okay. because obviously when we've spent this long together yeah uh, in normal conversation we have a lot of like conversation about everything okay. right even about like 
what he thinks about Sri Lanka okay. things like that you right. know so a lot of these things were like oh my god yes yeah, so I, I get this because this is what we were talking yeah. about yeah so I sort of recognized a lot of the stuff in this book but right. the next book I have no idea like which where it's gonna turn and yeah. what's happening so it's it. gonna pop up in your face you're never <laughs> gonna know much. what's gonna happen <laughs> yeah, yeah. all right so people actually tell me what's the yeah. best thing about having a, a smash that really understands what your passion is really understands uh, what you're doing well the best thing is there's no other way it's not about a best thing there's no other way for me and I don't think I mean, I could be wrong here, but there's no other way for any artist uh, um, or, or passionate person than to have someone who supports that passion because right. I, I can't conceive, I can't imagine another way that this could be so because if you're so passionate about something right. and the person you're married to or with uh, or, um, you know, who's your, should be your best friend and right. in our case definitely is, yeah. uh, um, <laughs> how can that, if that person's not supportive, I, I, I can't see myself out of that. I yeah. can't I can't see myself out of that maze. So in that regard, I have no problems at all and uh, not no problems is not the correct way to put it. I'm, I'm encouraged and even if I say I'm going to quit everything else uh, and, and just sort of go off into a forest, <laughs> perhaps not a forest. Unless I take a lot of stray dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll come along with like a few 20 stray yeah. dogs. I you see. Know, okay. yeah. uh, but if I say I'm going to quit everything and, and do that, if Roshni I know is going to support me and uh, I see no other way for an artist. Right. And I think that's just the way it should be. Yeah. Does uh, Roshni uh, inspire you in your writing? Yes, because uh, she's... A a bit younger than me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like to emphasize on the word bit. Does <laughs> <Okay. laughs> our ages <laughs> appear on... No, it doesn't appear. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. Okay. So, it's like, you know, in sociology, one of the most important things is generational change, uh -huh. intergenerational change, right. and also intra-generational change. Okay. Like, even a few years can make a massive difference. Right. Okay. And uh, yeah, she does because she's into uh, some fields which I'm not. And you know, I told you about seclusion, right? Right. If you're going to, you can seclude yourself physically while writing, but you can never seclude yourself mentally, right. intellectually. So Roshni is into fields which I am hopeless at. Like I, I'm very not musical. I like music, but I, uh, and she's into music. Mm -hmm. She's a singer and um, she's into fashion and various kinds of things. And that informs my writing, that makes it richer right. and it's more important in the second book. Right. This is a philosophical book, right? But this next one, okay, not that it's not important in this because it's contemporary, but this next one to, to, to flesh out that story, to add the dimensions and the aspects and facets of the new story, yeah. it's, it's great to have someone, you know, you can be best friends. You can love someone who's completely different. I, you don't need me to say that. I think that's a accepted thing. Yeah. And it's true. And uh, it's no cliche again. Uh -huh. And yeah, she does in that way. By, by, by broadening my horizons. No new idea. Right. No new way of thinking. No new different thing can ever uh, small on you. Right. That's not a word though. <laughs> can, Here on MTV, it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, 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 can't, it, can't, it can't narrow you down. Any, yeah. any kind of different... That's why ideas, there should be a free marketplace of ideas, a free, you know, yeah. forum and uh, that's what it does. Roshni is different from me but in, the, in a way the same, in a way different. Right. And that just enriches my intellectual experience and right. definitely my writing. So in that way, Definitely inspirational, and the encouragement is obviously right. uh, supports the inspiration, right? Okay, that's tough, isn't it? All right, uh, we'll go into a quick commercial break right now, and we'll be right back. With more on Good Morning Sri Lanka, more with Vivashita and his beautiful wife, Roshni. We'll be right back.